This is a brutally honest review on the online business software system.io. Now I've personally used dozens of online business softwares to start an online business, to do my online coaching programs, to start an affiliate marketing business. And when I first heard about system.io that it was 100% free and it was an all-in-one business solution, I was a little bit skeptical. And to be completely honest, when I heard that it was free, I first thought in my mind that it was not a good software and I didn't even want to look at it. Now, as I saw more people in the online space start using system.io, I realized I at least had to take a look. So as I break down the review of system.io, I'm literally going to show you everything when it comes to system.io. I'm going to show you the pros, the cons, and if this is a good software to use. And don't worry, I'm going to go through everything in this review, such as the pricing, the user interface, whether or not the free plan is enough to start an online business, what people are actually saying, and if they're actually getting results. And by the end of this video, you're going to have all the information you need on system.io and see if this is a good software for you. All right. So looking at the system.io dashboard, you can see that it's an all-in-one business solution. So what does that mean? So you can see you can build funnels you can send emails, you can store contacts, you can have website blogs, complete automations, and you can even create courses within system.io. Now, as you can see, you can even create your own affiliate program within system.io. So lots of things that you can do. So, so far it looks like you can do almost everything when it comes to starting an online business. All right. So more specifically, I want to talk about the funnel builder within system.io. So if you go go to the funnel section here, you can very easily create a funnel. So what I did was I created this squeeze page funnel where you can basically collect an email, you can collect a name. Now I'm inside of the funnel builder now. Now before I go into the actual drag and drop, I want to show you all the things you can do within the funnel builder. So as you can see, you can name the funnel here, you could change the URL and automations, you could tell it, hey, if someone enters their email, you know, do this and this email. So that's the cool thing. You can have all the automations within the funnel builder as well. You have the AB split test. So basically you could split different headlines, different colors. You can look at the stats. So you know how much you're making, how many people are opting in. If we look at the leads, you can see all the customers, their names, numbers, emails within that. If you're running your own products, you can see all the sales within the sales area. And then if you look at the deadline settings, so for example, if you're launching a product and it's going to end on a certain date, you could actually set that under the deadline settings here. All right. So if you actually want to edit one of the pages, you're going to want to go to edit page here on the right. And as you can see, it looks pretty easy to navigate. Now, the cool thing is you can go in here and change the text very easily. So I'm going to put test one, two, three. You could change the type of headline right here. Headline one, headline two, you could change the color. Let's just say we want to change that to red. So you'd have to highlight that, change that to red. Very easy to do. All right. And same thing for the button. If we go ahead and click on this, we can very easily change how we want the button to look. So if we click on it on the left here, we scroll down and you can see under the color, we can very easily change this button to red. We can change it to anything we want. So, so far it's pretty easy to use. Now, most things within this funnel builder are pretty easy to navigate. So for example, let's just say we want to go in here and add a photo. So right here on the left where it says media, you could very easily just click on this and drag this inside of here. So now you can see there's an image here. So we could even click on this image and on the left, it's going to ask us to upload an image. So it says here image file. So we can go ahead and click this button here and very easily you can upload an image. So I'm just going to put this image here as an example. And as you can see, it's very easy to go ahead and do that. And you can change the size of this very easy. Again, if you click on the image, you could change that just like this here on the left hand side. Most things within this funnel builder are pretty intuitive, meaning that if you think you can do it, it's probably possible. So for example, if you want to change this text here on the bottom, all you got to do is click 
click on it, there it is, right? So it's very easy to kind of navigate through this funnel builder and you can double click on this, change the text here very easily. Again, if you want to change the colors here, you can go ahead and highlight that, click on the colors. Let's change this to purple just so you can see the difference. And there we go, right? We can make that bold and all that good stuff. So I'm just trying to show you that it's pretty easy to navigate if you want to take something out. That's also pretty simple to do. If I go to the top here, you'll notice there's different sections. There's different rows. The section is usually the main part of things, right? You can see that's the green thing. And within a section, there's going to be a row. And within the row, there's going to be like an element. Okay. So there's like multiple elements in rows. So for example, if I go to this bottom here, you'll notice that there's a green section. So if I were to delete this, it would delete this whole blue area, right? So you'll notice here, it deletes the whole blue area, right? So that deletes the whole section. I'm going to put it back here, but you don't have to just delete the section. Again, within the section, there's going to be a row. So if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see the blue elements, which is the row. So you'll notice now I can go ahead and add multiple rows in here if I wanted to. So for example, if I go on the left here, I can add a row within this section. So you see here, now we have another row and that's within the section. So that's the cool thing about this is you got your sections, you got your rows and within your rows, as you can see here, the blue part, underneath the rows, you have your elements, right? So your text, your pictures, all that stuff. Again, if you want to just delete that, you can kind of just hover above that. You can see it changes colors. And if I want to delete the whole section, I can do that like that. Okay. So that's exactly how that works within the funnel builder. All right. So the next thing I want to show you here is the system.io blog. So if we go inside of here, you can very easily create a blog from one of the templates. Now here's an example of one that I did. I very easily just put an image here, but you can see that we have the homepage, the navigation, people can go to your social medias here on the top. Obviously you can have multiple blogs that go to multiple links. And this is if you want to have a blog with multiple articles that maybe promotes other people's programs, depending on what you're trying to do. But the cool thing is you can do this all within system.io. And this right here obviously is just an example, but instead of having to go create an entire blog on a different website, system.io allows you to do that within the platform. And that's why they call themselves an all-in-one business solution because you have your funnels, you have your blogs, you can create your courses. And let me show you the emails. Now going back to the system.io dashboard, if we go to emails, you'll notice if I go to campaigns, we can very easily create an entire campaign. So this is an example of one of the campaigns that I created. You'll notice here that every single day people get a new message, right? So you'll notice notice that, you know, if someone enters their email, they opt in, they then go to the next day. So for example, this is day one, this is day two, day three, and so on and so forth, right? You can write this whole automation within system.io. Now, real quick, if you do want access to system.io, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below. And yes, it's an affiliate link. If you click on that link, you still get free access to system.io without a credit card. Now you may be asking, why am I promoting? promoting this if I'm not going to make any money. And I'll explain that a little bit later. All right, going back to the system.io dashboard, I want to talk about automations because this is where it can become really powerful in your business. This is how you can put your business into complete autopilot. So for example, this is one of the workflows that I created. Now, this is a very simple one here, but basically you can tell system.io what you want people to do or what you want the system to do for you. So for example, right here, here, I say when someone becomes an opt-in or when someone enters their name and email, I want to enroll them into a free course. Okay. So then I would basically in this rule right here, I would send them access to this course, right? I enroll them into this course. And then as well, I could also send them an email, right? But you can do whatever you want. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. So you'll notice here, I can click on this plus and I can say, you know, delay. I can make a decision. I can make an action. Right. So if I choose an action, I can say subscribe to another campaign, send an email to a specific address, apply a certain tag. Right. If you want to tag people like, hey, this person bought this program, this person didn't buy it. You can tag people depending on what they do and they don't do. So obviously you can make this as complicated or as simple as you'd like. Right here, it's pretty simple. But I mean, you'll see some people they have. If this happens, then go here. If this happens, go here. And then it just becomes a crazy spider web. So as your business grows and 
it gets more complicated, obviously you can have multiple automations. Now, as I was testing the automations, honestly, I was a bit jealous because when I first started, I had to pay for multiple different softwares. I had to connect them together. That way I can do all the automations that system.io allows. And again, when I first started, I didn't have access to system.io. I believe it was not even out yet. So I had to pay for two or three multiple different softwares to do what I wanted. So if you're starting today, starting an online business, again, if it's coaching, affiliate marketing, you're selling courses, the cool thing is you have an all-in-one business solution instead of going to other business softwares and trying to connect them together. It just makes it a little bit easier. Now, I do want to mention creating a course in system.io. IO. So under products, you'll see courses. You could create an entire course and sell it or give it out for free as a lead magnet, which is something I do, but that's another topic for another day. Right now, I want to show you how it looks inside of system.io. So this is a free course that I give out, but you'll notice if I click on this, you can see it looks pretty good, right? You got your modules here on the left here. I got like different modules here. I have my videos, I have my text, and then also I have workbooks. So if I click on this next module here. I have workbooks that go to different buttons. It's pretty cool because you could pretty much do whatever you want, right? So if I click on this right here, you'll notice again, I have my videos and then I have all the buttons that go to multiple affiliate links or whatever product it is. But you'll notice here, you could even track, you know, if people are going through the program, right? So let's just say someone buys your course and you know, they don't go through it and they say they did. Well, you can track that here, right? It tracks exactly where they are in the process. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is see what the customers were saying about system.io. Now, this is their main group here. This is the system.io Facebook community. And the cool thing is you can actually go in here and ask questions if you get stuck. But I noticed just going through every single post in here, people are super excited about the program. Not many complaints. Obviously, you got people getting confused every once in a while. But the cool thing is the community, the CEO will actually go and answer questions himself, which is pretty insane because I think there's over hundreds of thousands of users, but the CEO of system.io is a really an amacker. And again, he's posting in here. He seems pretty active inside of the group, but you'll see people are pretty happy within this community. And I also want to see what other people are saying besides the community. So I went to Trustpilot and you'll notice here, oh my gosh, 4.8 average when it comes to the system.io reviews. So, and this is over 2000 reviews. So it looks like people are super happy. A lot of people are switching from the business builder they were using to system.io. That's kind of what I've been seeing a lot, which is pretty crazy because, you know, if you first start using funnel builder or whatever it is, it's kind of hard to go switch to another platform, but it looks like a lot of people are doing that. If you go to Trustpilot, you'll notice a lot of people are saying, hey, I'm going to use this instead of whatever they're using before. All right. So last thing here, I want to talk about the pricing for system.io, right? It's hundred percent free, but they do have a pricing model once your business grows, which is, I think it's super cool. And I'm going to explain what that means, right? So again, it's hundred percent free to sign up again. I'll leave that link down in the YouTube description, but you'll notice here that the free plan will give you a lot, right? You got 2000 contacts. You could send unlimited emails. You could have three funnels. You could have even a course, all this cool stuff. All right. Now the cool thing is you can grow your business to start making money. And then when you start making money, okay, now you could pay the 27 a month, the 47 once your business starts to grow. So there's no stress on your part when it comes to, you know, having to pay for a software if you're not making money yet. So I think that's super cool and that you can, again, grow your business for free without having to pay. Now, again, when you start adding more automations, right, you're going from one to 10 or you're adding more workflows, that's when you have to start to pay. Or if your contacts grow from 2000 to, you know, 2,500, 3000 contacts, that's when it'll start to grow. But typically if you have, you know, over 2000 contacts, you should be making money because you should be able to take that email list and be able to promote multiple products, which is something I talk about on my channel. Now, the last thing I want to mention is why would I promote a free software if I'm not going to get paid? And I want to explain that in an entire video. So if you go to my YouTube channel and click on this video right here, it's going to explain exactly how you can make money with system.io, even though it's free. 
So all in all, my brutally honest review on system.io, I believe it's a great program, especially for beginners. You don't have to pay any money to get started. So it's definitely worth a try. So if you wanna check it out, again, I'm gonna leave a link in the YouTube description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.